Crimes involving children rightfully create widespread hatred and disgust against those who commit it. Eric Penland of Youngstown, Ohio, enraged the country as the victim of his horrible crime was his three-month-old son. On March 1, 2017, Eric Penland was home with his son, Eric Jr., while his mother, who we'll call Jane Doe, worked until 4 p.m. When Jane got home, she and her friend and Penland took the three-month-old shopping. The two women were concerned about Eric Jr., who never opened his eyes and made moaning sounds, but Penland Sr. calmed them by saying that he wasn't feeling well. After Penland and Jane Doe dropped the friend off, the couple went home to eat. By then, Eric Jr. was completely unresponsive and was taken to a children's hospital in Akron, Ohio. An ER doctor noticed that the child didn't respond to any stimulation and no signs of bruises or external trauma. There were no reports of the child falling or any type of seizure, but a CAT scan showed brain swelling and Eric Jr. needed emergency brain surgery. A pediatric social worker interviewed both parents and police were assigned to the case. Penlin repeated nothing had happened, but it was possible his 14-month-old sister could have hit him in the head. After Eric Jr.'s brain surgery, medical experts diagnosed the child with shaken baby syndrome. The child would grow up with limited brain activity as well as being deaf and blind. Police requested another interview. Jane Doe, the mother, attended, but Eric Penland did not. On August 17, 2017, Eric Penland was indicted on one count of endangering children and went to trial. Doctors and the pediatric social worker gave evidence and Eric Penland was found guilty and sentenced to serve 11 years. Penland exploded at the judge, saying that he had been wrongfully convicted, was 100% innocent, and would never harm a hair on a child's head. Eric Penland Jr. was adopted to a new family where he will live with severe brain damage for the rest of his life, but will be cared for and loved. Eric Penland is serving the remainder of his sentence in a correctional center in Ohio.